Hey guys, Happy New Year's. Um, this is going to be more of kind of a personal video because, you know, it's New Year's. A lot of you are probably out getting ready to party tonight and stuff. If you are, be careful. Have fun, but be careful. Um, I have had one hell of a year. For those of you that keep up with me on my other social medias like Facebook, especially Facebook, I get super personal on there. Um, you've seen the struggle I've been through this year. Several court cases, ones that I keep losing. I've been led on by government entities to, to think I was going to win. And there's a lot I just can't talk about, but... <sighs> Let's just say I feel pretty cornhoed. I do. I really do. A lot of things have not been fair this year. And a lot of it was just us trying to do the right thing. And we got screwed over and then while trying to do the right thing. Um, it has not gone very well for me this year. And fortunately a lot of my content this year has suffered due to it. Because I had to put my family first. I had I always put my family first. But I had to put these court dates and such first. Um, but 2020, I got more court dates coming up. <laughs> Hopefully with better results. Hopefully ones that will win. Um, but I got a good feeling about 2020. I'm going to go into 2020 with a good feeling. We are going to leave this shit year behind and I hopefully turn things around in 2020. I feel excited about 2020. Um, I just started a new channel for Peculiar Occurrences. I'm slowly putting all my old episodes of Peculiar Occurrences over there and so far it's it's doing pretty good. Although I've heard a lot of my notifications I've been trying to get out to the Peculiar Occurrence fans has not been reaching them, YouTube. So hopefully, you guys will get this notification, even though I've mentioned it. So yeah, um, there's lots of places to find it. The, the page is called Peculiar Occurrences, with an S. Um, you can go to my main channel page here, and there should be a link to it over to the side, under Featured pages. I think I call it My Peeps on there. Um, I really need to put a link to it in my bio. I will try to remember to do that, to put it in my in the description. And I'll try to do it in the first comment too, if I remember. I'll try to put, put a link to that there. If you guys want to go over and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Right now I'm at 66 subscribers, which is pretty good since I've only been uploading on there for about two weeks. But that's what I mean. I keep putting out little messages here and there on the community tab. And a lot of people have told me, hey, I didn't know about it. I'll go subscribe now. And I made a whole video about it. And that video barely got any views. It's like YouTube actively stopped that video from going out to you guys. So hopefully you all will get this one. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. A really big YouTuber, and I don't want to name drop, but a really big YouTuber has followed me on that page, and I fangirled so hard because it's somebody that actually makes content similar to mine, similar to Peculiar Occurrences, and I fangirled hard. I even cried. I fangirled that hard. But yeah, um, yeah, so... I'm hoping as far as YouTube goes and as far as my home and family stuff goes that all that's going to get better in 2020 and we're actually going to be able to be cut a break in 2020 and we're going to be able to get Yang elected in 2020 though I'm not here to talk about politics <laughs> even though you know how Yang has been being treated by the media and the DNC I am not happy with I've got a whole other video gonna be making about that hopefully things will change before I can even get that out if not you all will be seeing it so yeah um yeah especially since it's like the democratic media 
is treating him worse than the Republican media and the guys running as a Democrat doesn't make sense. Mm. Anyways, um, yeah, so, yeah, I would tell you what my New Year's resolution is, but I don't really do New Year's resolutions. So I feel like it kind of jinxes me, you know? Like, if I make a New Year's resolution, I'm not actually going to stick to it. <laughs> so I guess I'm just more hoping for a whole better year in the new year. And I guess that's, I'm not going to say that's my resolution. Maybe it should be. But I won't stick to it if I say it is. My hope is to have a better year in 2020. And that's how I'll put it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, let me know how your year has been down below. And if you have any New Year's resolutions or any hopes or dreams for New Year's or what you're wanting to leave behind in 2019, I would love to hear about it and chat with you guys. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I will say I do want to thank you guys a whole lot. Everybody that's truly stuck with me and everybody that's been so incredibly supportive. Those of you that have paid attention to what's going on in my personal life. Those of you that have reached out to me, tried to be an ear, a voice, a, a friend. I, You have no idea how grateful I am to just all of you. Um, those that have done that will know who you are. And you are just so incredibly special to me. And I just... I love you guys. You're truly my friends. You are. I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for being there for me. Um, yeah. So, let's go into 2020 together. Let's have a good and safe and fun New Year's. And I will see you again in the raving 20s. Love you guys. Peace. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.